Hey there, Fletcher and All Things Overlanding here. And today I'm excited because I'm gonna be talking about this new utensil set from Jetboil. This thing's actually really cool. It's really inexpensive. I think it's under 15 bucks and it's got some really nice features. So again, just wanted to share this with you today. So let's take a look at the Jetboil Trailwear utensil set. All right, guys, so again, today we're gonna to be talking about this Jet Boil Trail Wear Utensil Set. I'm gonna kind of show you all the features of this thing and show you why I like it and try and give you as much information as possible. So again, if you are looking for something like this for some sort of a camping or backpacking type of utensil set, you know what this one's all about and whether it would be a good fit for your needs. So let's start by talking about the form factor uh, material, it's plastic. These things are made of plastic. So they are on the sort of softer side, meaning that they have some flex to them. So I don't, just playing with them a little bit. I don't worry about breaking them necessarily unless you got them caught between something or sat down on them in a weird position. So if you want something with a smaller form factor that is gonna be really light, this may be a good option. Um, so of course you get a knife, you also get a fork, and then you get this spoon, which I really like that it has these sort of soft vinyl flexible sides on it. You've probably seen these on some other uh, types of silverware like this before. What it's good for is the bagged meals. So you know, if you are making one of these sort of like freeze dried meals, like this peak one, this is one of my favorites, uh, this thing isn't gonna cut through the bag and it's also gonna let you scrape stuff off the sides. It's gonna be a little bit better than a rigid, type of utensil because it can, you know, scrape stuff off the sides of this bag. I'll also put a link to some of my favorites of these and the mountain houses because these things are great and uh, delicious. So if you're looking for something that's really easy and you just boil some water and pour it in a bag, those things are great. And these utensils are made to work with it. All right, so now let's kind of take these apart and I'm gonna show you how they go together. So they do have like sort of a clipping mechanism here on the bottom, which is really nice because it actually, you know, secures them together really well so that they stay together. So again, if you throw these in like a bin or something like that, you're not gonna have to search everywhere to find your spoon or your fork. They're all gonna stay together. And basically the way that that works is there's this little sort of uh, cut out and then this thing just sort of fits in there and you just sort of squeeze it together and then that's how it stays together. So. That's how that works. Then the knife comes off. The knife, very straightforward, right? Just a plastic knife. So, you know, nothing crazy there, but it is a nice little knife. It's got some serration to it. So it's gonna make cutting food and stuff like steaks better than a lot of those things that are just really dull and don't have a lot of uh, sort of serration to them. Then of course you've got a fork and a spoon. Now what I really like about these is you'll see that they're kind of two piece, right? And at first I was like, why is that? What are these? Why is it black with the orange around it, right? And it does feel good in the hand. So at first I kind of thought, well, maybe it's just for, you know, making holding the utensils a little bit more comfortable and nicer, but it actually has a purpose. So you'll notice here on the side, it has these little grooves cut out and it has this little knob. And then on the inside here, you see that it's kind of sprung, right? So it has a little spring action to it. So basically what you do is you push that in and you can slide it out. It's got three different settings. So you can make the spoon a little bit longer, but again, for exactly these bag type meals, you can make this thing really, really long so that you can get down in that bag and scoop out the food from the bottom. But then to store it, of course, you can push in the buttons and just sort of slide it down and it makes it a lot shorter. The same for the fork, it works exactly the same way. So again, a really cool little design and really nice usable form factor. And then again, I like that they all just sort of nest down together like this and store so you can throw them back in your drawer all as one unit, which is really, really nice. So anyways, that is the trailwear set from Jetboil. All right guys, so as you saw, that was the Jetboil Trailwear utensil set. This thing is really cool. It has a lot of really nice features. It's a little on the bigger side. So if you're like a backpacker or something, it is really light because it's primarily plastic, but uh, there's some pros and cons, right? With all these things. So again, just wanted to share those features with you, show you what these things look like. If you're looking for something like this, I will put a link in the description down below. So you can go down there and grab yourself a set of this or more if you want more than one. Um, but again, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, click that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos every week. I do like a longer, 
almost podcast like video talking about an overlanding dispersed camping that kind of thing and then i do something like a gear video or do it yourself modifications that kind of thing so if you're into any of that definitely click that subscribe button also in the description below will be links to all my social channels so wherever you want to hang out i'd love to have you there's also a link to my website where i've got funny overlanding camping themed patches and stickers so if you're into that kind of thing uh you may want to look at that as well so right below this video is a join button it's something newer that i'm trying uh, basically it's just a way to support the channel so no pressure whatsoever but if you'd like to support the channel you can click on that you get early access to the videos and some other perks so if that sounds cool check that out and then last but not least there is a link to my patreon page where we've got a 24 7 discord we kind of chat about our rigs and our gear and that sort of thing all the time and there's also the newbie overlanders facebook group totally free to join tons of awesome people in there better than the bigger groups where you're going to get bullied and made fun of for asking questions it's more of a friendly lively group so if you're newer and looking for some place to learn that may be a good place to start but again thanks for watching and i hope you have a good one Thank you.